Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about non-halting Turing machine. So, for better understanding of this class, please watch our previous classes. A good intuition about how to write the Turing machine logics. Those examples have been discussed in our previous classes. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, we will take an example and understand what's non-halting Turing machine is. Let's take an example sigma is equal to a comma b. What's the meaning of that? Uh, the input symbols are a comma b and the language l is given as a a star. What's the meaning of this language? At least one a should be found. After that any number of a's can be accepted. This is what a a star means. Suppose if you write a, if you write a logic like this, if you define a Turing machine, if you construct a Turing machine like this, let's see what happened. So A, 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 this input string should be accepted. B, A, A, this should not be accepted. Our Turing machine get has to be rejected. So how, what's the acceptance of Turing machine that we already discussed acceptance using halt state that we already discussed previously. So please watch that class. If you don't know what's how it is getting rejected, if you don't know, so please watch that class and come back here. Next A, B, A, this is not accepted. Let's see what happened on this logic. We start from Q0. On Q0, you, at least you have to find one A. That's why if you found A, we are keeping it as A and move right side and move right side. Now on Q1, if you found A, keep it as A, move right side. If you found A, keep it as A, move right side. If you found blank, we are going to final state. See, so this is how we have written the Turing machine. If you found B, keep it as B and left. So this is what the Turing machine is. Let's try to understand what's this Turing machine do on our three inputs. A, 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 blank. Yes, it is accepted. This string has to be accepted. It is accepted. Now check the second condition. B, A, A, it should not be accepted. It has to get a rejected. Let's see what happens. On Q0, did we mention anything about B? No. Our Turing machine is going to stop. It is going to reject the input string. B, A, A. Let's check the third one. A, B, A. What happens here? A, we are moving here. If you see B, keeps on, make it as B and move left. B, move left means again going back. A. If you found A, keep it as A and move right side. Again move right side. Again B, move left side. Again A, move right side. Again B, move left side. Again A, move right side. This is what happening. On this input string, our Turing machine is not going to end. It is going to keep on the loop like that. This is what non-halting Turing machine is. See what happens here. Let's try to understand. For yes inputs, means if the string has to be accepted, for yes inputs, this Turing machine is going to halt. For no inputs, some of the no inputs, it is going to reject. For this no input, this input should not be accepted. Yes, it is rejected by our Turing machine. On Q0, we did not mention about B. But for the third input, A, B, A, our Turing machine has to reject it. But it is converting it as a, it is working as a loop. It is never going to halt. This is what non-halting Turing machine is. Why, why we got this situation? Because in Turing machine, we are having a situation like this. We keeps on either we are moving left or right. So there is a chance of left, right, left, right, left, right. There is a chance of forming a loop. That is what non-halting Turing machine is. Okay. Hope you understand about the concept of non-halting Turing machine. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.